Good afternoon, Earthlings. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the life of a light worker, right? Like, it's so trendy. People are like, I'm a light worker, but no, literally, you have to work. So, considering the job of a light worker means like, sitting in hours and hours and hours of meditation and trying to retrieve downloads and piece stuff together, you know, to make your life the best it can be. That's kind of what it's about. And as I've been sitting here, now the water's going in the house, but um, as I've been sitting here, I feel a lot of, what, what do you call them, evil eyes. I'm feeling a lot of hostile energy projected at me. Um, and so this is what I have to say. Even though I come on here and make videos all the time saying, I will not accept your negative energy, spiritual attacks, or any spell cast sent my way. I am protected. I rebuke all of you. And that's not going to change. Okay? I'm too pure now. You don't get it. When you, when you cut your addictions, when you stop having sex, when you stop giving a shit what anybody else thinks of you, you build up this really cool thing called a psychic defense. All right? But... You no longer have any access to me. You're not welcome in my life. Um, you have no place, anybody, to come to my house and think that you're going to give me a piece of your mind. You tried to kill me. You gang stalked me. You lied about me. You went to courts and lied about me. You guys called me incompetent and said I wasn't capable of taking care of myself. You guys are a bunch of fucking losers. And I can't believe... That you guys got away with this. Like, do you know how much trouble you got your friends in? Jacob is a 21-year-old genius that graduated with a physics 30 diploma. I am a fucking genius. Yet somehow you guys managed to get something signed off in court stating I was incompetent. Do you realize what's going to happen to that judge? Do you realize what position you put your so-called friends in and you call yourself a friend and you think you have the right to try and get a hold of me and give me a piece of your mind? That's interesting. What? The murderers are now feeling like victims? Like seriously? Seriously. Seriously. My God. You guys were pathetic before, but now you're just bottom feeders at this fucking point. Just so you know, I have a very high ranking. You are not welcome anywhere near my premises. I don't exist in your world anymore. You don't exist in mine anymore. I've shut that chapter of my life. I am building new connections in higher places with people on my frequency, nobody, and I mean not one single person, not one from the past, not one, is welcome on my journey right now or ever again in my life. If you figure that you have stuff you need to say to me, or explanations on why you're a fucking moron. I'm not interested. I rebuke you 100%. I don't care who you are. I don't care. As of this moment, I have zero friends, zero family, zero co-workers. I have Jake and I and my dog. Okay? Do you understand that? We're not friends. We're not family. We're not associates. We're nothing. I have a completely clean slate. So pretend that I died. You've gone to my funeral and get the fuck over it. If you have something to say, 
which I have as part of my future therapy program. Okay? You know, face your fears, claim your destiny, soul therapy, that business that all of you put your hands in and stole from me. Yeah. Well, you guys just, you guys didn't get the cream of the crop because do you actually think I would let anybody see the most important shit that I've been working on for 30 years? No. How fucking retarded do I look? Anyway. Anyway. Part of that therapy is called NLP. Ask Kristen Junk about it. She knows everything about NLP. But beyond it being mind control, there is some good aspects to NLP. And one good aspect is you can go in your mind back to a situation and replay it and change it. Okay? You know why? Because your beliefs create your reality. Okay? So if you have, anybody has, what they believe is unfinished business with me, my best suggestion to you is write a letter and when you're done it, burn it. Burn it. Just burn it. And that way you get it out of your head and out of your thoughts and it's gone. Just surrender your whatever to the universe. But you are cut off of my universe. There is no room for any of you. No room for a phone call. No room for an email. No room for stop by visit. You are done in my world. You do not exist. If this is like we all are our own universe. Well, in my my personal universe, I have the book of life and I choose who I write out of the book of life within my universe. And I have totally burnt that book of life and I have purchased, I've created a whole new brand new book of life. Okay. And none of your names are in it. So please, if you have unfinished business, which you think you have with me, you need to take it up with a therapist or a priest or where, wherever you get your inspiration from. But your access to me is denied forever. Goodbye.